Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I am going to be showing you how to check if a number is odd or even using Java. So let's get right into it. Firstly, make sure you import java.util.scanner because we'll need, be needing this to get user input. So in our main method, we're going to do four lines of code. We're going to do int number. This is going to be the variable that stores the user input. Then we're going to do scanner input equals new scanner system.in. We're creating a scanner object, and this object is responsible for getting the user input, and we have to pass system.in so it knows how to get that user input. Then we do system.printline, enter a number to tell the user to enter a number, and then we do number equals input.next int. That's going to be getting the next int that Java detects for user input in. You might want to validate this, but that's not the point of this tutorial, but click the eye up in the corner if you want to check if the, what the user inputs is an integer. After that, we are going to do system.printline number percent to double equals zero question mark even number colon odd number. You might be thinking, Max, what is this gibberish? Well, I'm going to break it down. Basically, we could have done a simple if statement. We could have done like if mod two equals zero, then it's even else odd and that's it perfectly fine but we can condense this down into one line of code we're going to be using a ternary operator so basically a ternary operator is we have a boolean or a condition we do a question mark we then do what to do if it's true a colon then what to do if it's false and if you want to check if a number is even in java what we can do is we can do the number then we do mod 2 equals zero so modding something is basically getting the remainder. If the remainder is equal to zero, that means two goes perfectly into the number, meaning it's an even number. However, if there's a remainder left over, that means this doesn't become equal to zero. That means it's an odd number because two doesn't go perfectly into the number we're checking. And again, just to reiterate, we do a condition or a boolean. We do question mark what to do if the condition is true. So in this case, we want to do even number because that's what we want to print when we have an even number. And then we do a colon. Then we do what we want to do when, when it's false. This is going to be odd number because we want to print out odd number because the number was odd. And that's it for this tutorial. Let's save our work and hit play. So we have to enter a number, we're going to enter 5. And it's an odd number. Let's try again. We're going to enter 2. And it's an even number. Let's try the old fashioned 69. A classic. And it's odd. Let's try one more. Let's do 420. And that's an even number. But wait, what's 0? Well, it's an even number, funny enough, because 0 divided by 2 is equal to 0. So there's no remainder. And we're going to try negative 69 to be funny, which is an odd number. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more Java tutorials.